G'day Fryer Park here again. What is church? That's a question we all need to ask ourselves. What is the function of coming to church? And how do we discern that? Well, ultimately we're always directed back to God's Word. There are seven churches that Jesus speaks to through St. John in Revelation and he tells them what church is not, what they have become or how to endure and carry on as being church. I hear a lot of things today saying that, you know, unless we ordain women, we can't be effective church. Unless we stay together, be united, we're not going to bring our kids back to church. But the problem with all this is that it's me, it's us. We're putting our works in the way of God's works. It's very clear in the large catechism where Luther writes, the Holy Spirit calls, gathers, enlightens, and sanctifies, that is, makes the church holy. He's the one who does the work. And when we try to do the work of the Holy Spirit, it's questionable what the God is that we're being led to, the God of self. We're called to stand under God's word, not over God's word. Now, with all the I, me positions are taken in the church, and what I've got to do, what we've got to do, the problem with that is it's putting ourselves before God. It's putting ourselves over God. It's the position that we want to achieve then becomes the core theme through which we view God's Word. But we're called to God's Word and it is the core theme through which we view all our other things. We sit under God's Word and say, okay, what's God's Word say about this? Unfortunately, what is used is God's Word is used in a way that, well, we're not clear what God's Word says we're not clear what God's Word says, so therefore we can justify our position. But I would argue that if it's not clear in God's Word, well then maybe we should not venture there. That we're actually dancing on dangerous territory. Oh, that puppy dog. He shouldn't be out in the road. Hmm. And so we're called to, called to God's Word and place ourselves under God's Word and ultimately call to repentance to be conformed to God's Word to be submissive to God's Word and to know that the Holy Spirit is the ultimate doer and shaker in the church He calls, gathers and lightens the Christian church and He calls, gathers and lightens the Christian church back under Jesus Christ and His Word I'm Fry Buck 